In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest and quickest way to sync your audio and video in DaVinci Resolve 16.1.2. All that stuff coming up. But first, if you're new here, my name is Billy Ripka and I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials about different effects, transitions, and workflows that'll help you become a better editor. So if you wanna level up your editing skills, click the subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on the newest videos put out. But let's get into it. So the best way to sync audio and video in DaVinci Resolve 16.1.2 is in the cut page. It's actually not by going to auto sync audio. A long time ago, I taught that that was the best way to do it. But since then, 16.1 came out and really just had a better feature. So click on the cut page right here. And once you're there, all you have to do is to highlight any clip that goes together. So this H1 zoom clip right here, that's the audio for this video. So they both go together. Then all I do is go up to the sync clips button right here. Then this new menu pops up. So in this menu, there's two ways to sync your audio. You can do it either by time code, which most people probably won't, or you can do it by audio. So I'm gonna click on audio and then I'm just gonna hit sync and it's just gonna quickly sync up all of my clips just like that. And now you can see your audio and video are synced up super fast. So then you just go to save sync and you'll see that now there's little labels right here that shows that these two clips are synced up together. What we're really doing here is we're creating a multi-cammed clip. So if I go back to the synced clips button right here, I'll see that DaVinci Resolve categorizes each file regardless if it's a camera or not as cameras. So this one right here of me is camera one this one's camera two, and then so on and so forth if you have more and more and more clips. So ultimately what that means is when we just close this out and we go to the edit tab, we actually have this file right here that says media sync. And if we drag that down onto our timeline, we still have our crappy audio, like it's still there. And the reason for that is because you can see right here on the clip what camera is showing. So for the video, camera one is showing, and for the audio, camera one is showing. Camera one is our crappy audio. We don't want that camera one. We technically want camera two. So to change this, you need to make sure that link selection is off because if not, when you change one camera, it's gonna change both cameras. So now with link selection off, I can right click on my audio and go to switch multicam clip angle and then select my external audio. Now you can see that it actually switched audio files and the one that's playing right now is my H1N. So I personally use this syncing method for every single one of my freelance jobs and also every single one of these YouTube tutorials because I record external audio. This right here is an H1N. It's such a little thing. You can hide it in your pocket. You can run a little lav mic from it and you can also monitor audio with it. It's a really nice recorder and it has great quality. And also I was looking to buy another one and it was on sale. So if any of you guys are interested in this thing, I'll throw a link in the description. So. There you go. And another cool thing you can do with this method is that you can actually right click and go to open in timeline and DaVinci Resolve is actually gonna open up that multicam file. So then you can view all of the different files inside. Right now you can see they're all grayed out and you can't move them. Well, that's because they're locked. So you can just go here and unlock them if you want this sync in your main timeline with both audios right here, all you're gonna do is highlight them all, hit Control C for copy, then you're gonna go to Timeline Viewer Options and click on this first one, Stacked Timelines. Now you're gonna see that you're inside the Media Synced file. Well, you want this in your timeline. So you can just hit the plus button right here and select the timeline with the drop down area and go to timeline one. You can hit control V and paste it there. And now you can see you have both audio tracks and the video there. So there you have it, the quickest and easiest way to sync your audio in DaVinci Resolve. If you thought this video was helpful, give it a like and share it with a friend so that they know how to sync their audio and video in DaVinci Resolve. And if you like me, hit the subscribe button. And if you really like me, hit that bell notification. You have no idea how much that helps. Do you record your audio externally? Which recorder do you use? Let me know in the comments below. I read and respond to every single comment out there. And if you're interested in seeing these videos before everybody else, seeing funny blooper videos, check out my Patreon. I offer a bunch of things over there that I don't offer on YouTube. But as usual, the video on the top is video all about how to steal a color grade from famous movies and TV shows and use it in your footage in DaVinci Resolve. And the video on the bottom is a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But till the next one, peace.